arrived when the finance minister came, we thought that that was an opportunity for the finance minister to present to us up-to-date information. That is what the finance minister is supposed to do, and not to tell us what happened in the year 2019. When he was presenting the 2020 budget, he had the opportunity to report 2019 figures. In addition to that, he had an opportunity to do the media review budget. The essence of the media review budget is to tell us information of full year 2019. He spent the day telling us issues about 2019. You and I are interested in current issues, because that is what will inform us. In 2016, when Honorable Secretary came here, he requested for about 10 billion. Today, Mr. Kenoforata is requesting for 27 billion. Out of that 27 billion, over 10 billion of that amount would be used to service debts. That is debt servicing. It tells you that this country is broke. When you read the latest October report from the IMF, and I feel that is more credible because this minister hasn't been credible enough. Our debt to GDP is projected at 76% of GDP. When he took over as minister, the debt to GDP was about 56%. And that is the critical element, not just the nominal debt. The nominal debt actually is moved up by over 150 billion. But when you increase your debt, you have to increase the base of your GDP so that it can support that debt. It has moved from 57 and is now hitting almost 80%. When a middle-income country crosses the 70% mark, it means that you are hugely debt distressed. And so we don't need the IMF to come and tell us that Ghana is epic. By the minister's own track record, Ghana falls within the category of a epic country. And that is a fact. In his budget, the 2020 budget, we are expecting tax revenue of 42 billion. And yet, debt servicing alone, when it comes to interest payment and amortization, we are paying 38 billion. What it means is that the whole of Ghana, when the government of Ghana collects our tax revenues, more than 90% of that amount is used to service our debt, even before we pay salaries and other statutory payments. If this country is not broke, if this country is not in the state of comatose, there's no other word that can describe this country. All of us should prepare for difficult times next year, because what the minister is doing, based on the IMF document, is that he's running a deficit of 16%. That is the highest in that report. Even South Africa is not running that deficit. Nigeria is not running that deficit. Everybody is prioritizing and spending on critical areas. But our minister is interested in recurrent expenditure. Ladies and gentlemen, we do know that this minister has run out of ideas. We do know that this government promised so much and yet delivered very little.